Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975 and today we are continuing our Pedro Bay SnowRunner exploration. Um, if you haven't seen the previous video then make sure you go check that out before you watch this video because this is sort of a part two to that video and if you want to watch some of my previous episodes uh, then I will link the playlist down below in the description. Um, but in the last episode we took our international trans star right here and we attempted to explore the Pedro Bay map. Now originally I thought most of this map was on road and uh, quite a bit of it is but not as much as I was hoping for and the international trans star is uh, let's just say it's not really an off-road vehicle it's not at all designed for this I mean just look at the thing um, at the end of that video however we did run out of fuel mainly because I forgot to put a fuel carrier like we have on the Royal BM17 there on the back of the International so we did run out of fuel but I brought the Royal over here with a fuel carrier and fueled up the Transstar here so we're all good to continue however um, in the last episode our sort of objective was to explore all the watch points we only actually had two left to go and discover and see if we could uncloak the garage so that we could go and restore the international trans star back to the garage and let it have a rest but through watching some gameplay of the Pedro Bay map on YouTube I actually discovered that there is no garage in the Pedro Bay map. So instead, what I've decided is we still need to go and uncloak these watch points, but there is a brand new truck for us to go and explore the ANK MK38. And I'm guessing it's under one of these two because it's nowhere else on the map. Uh, so we're going to see if we can at least discover that in this episode. Discover the watchtowers and discover the ANK. God, I actually just forgot how bad this thing really is off-road. I mean, I've just driven the uh, Royal BM17 over to rescue this thing. And uh, that thing has all-wheel drive. And it's a pretty good off-roader. It's got a lift kit on it and uh, it's very torquey as well. This thing doesn't have any of that. Doesn't have any all wheel drive, doesn't have any diff locks, doesn't have any lift raised suspension on it, doesn't have any off road tires. The only thing it has is a winch, which is actually very useful on this thing. You know, I just realized I brought the Royal BM17 over here. Why the hell didn't I just carry on exploring in that thing? I don't know. The wonders of SnowRunner, I always make it more difficult than it really needs to be. But I do love the International, so we're going to carry on in the International. We may have to get the Royal to pull us out, though. Right, I've decided to cheat a little bit. I want to carry on exploring in the Transstar, but there are no winch points at the front to get through this section so we're going to try and pull it through this section with the Royal here because this thing actually does have some off-road capability providing I don't roll the thing this thing is very okay yeah this thing is very top end heavy as you can see and it does like to roll at least we can winch it over if we have to with the um, Transstar. I see some lovely, lovely tarmac up ahead. This looks nice. Transstar may be actually able to move under its own power. I also don't know which way we want to be going. So I'm going to just pull this thing onto the road. We'll ditch that there and we'll leave the Royal BM there right we sort of just want to carry on straight forwards uh, we're going to go for this watchtower and this is the only sort of road that we know 
hopefully that does lead to the watchtower we're moving under our own power in the transile what is this we're not using a winch we're not using another truck we're using the wheels oh oh we're slowly inching forwards but I feel like we are digging ourselves in a little bit more there is a winch point over here now so we can pull ourselves forwards providing we don't snap that tree come on tree don't snap please don't snap I need you more than you know there we go we got out of that sticky mess right so we want to go along here and in a minute there is a right turn can we see the watchtower is it, we are very close to it now all right here is the right turn i'm feeling like that's the way we want to go also that path up there looks like it's blocked let's see okay right we can now see the watchtower okay so yeah we do want to take this right turn up here and then we should just I think we just follow that around and we should come out at the watchtower so we want to go up here okay this is a horrible bit of road here these rocks are sort of um, yeah because my truck's so low it's getting caught on these rocks a bit but we do have to make it around this really tight almost hairpin corner here there is a frigging rock in the way absolutely horrible the truck seems to want to go around on its own it isn't going to because it's not really got the grip to go up here on its own well actually I think it might Look at this! Some professionalism here. Also not really where you want to be taking this kind of truck. Basically these um, last two episodes have been how not to play SnowRunner. So if you're new to SnowRunner and you're watching these videos or you're watching these videos to decide whether to buy SnowRunner Firstly, definitely buy SnowRunner, it's absolutely incredible. But secondly, do not try and take on-road vehicles off-roading, because it does not work. And we've discovered the watchtower, that's absolutely marvellous. We may even uncloak the new truck. Okay, let's launch the observation there we really can't see very much that's incredible but I think there is an upgrade over here because usually the upgrades are sort of by these car wrecks I have no idea why um, but while we're here it would be a shame not to go and get it come on come on yes there we go get the upgrade oh we got raised suspension for the NK MK33 that's super because that's the truck that we're actually going for that's actually really good news that's incredible can we actually um, see the truck now hmm what have we got over here no it doesn't look like it okay so it must be over here then all right when i was uh when we discovered the watchtower here i think i did spot the road just over here um so right we want to basically aim if we can for the little watch point thing i may have very slightly don't ask me how because i still don't know how myself um i may have got the Transtar a little bit stuck so the uh, Royal BM was actually just up the road so I decided that we were just going to go and get that and winch it out here because there are no winch points for that thing in there and the Royal BM was available so why would we not try and winch it out alright here we go 
winching the transtar out of a ditch don't ask me how I got it in there in the first place because I have no idea there we go two trucks helping each other out yes I am aware that I'm about to just reverse straight back into there but we need to turn around I'm just gonna back down this lane until we find somewhere suitable to turn around Apparently the Transtar is better in reverse than it is forwards because I haven't gotten stuck yet in reverse. Right, this is a good place to turn around. We'll swing it in here and then we need to go back the way that we came. Alright, so we turned down this road before this time we're going to go to the left round here Whoop. don't throw it into a snowbank we know how that ended last time all right we got a bit of a hill to deal with let's see how the transtar copes with this it's actually despite what I've said so far in this video it's coped mighty well for the conditions I mean it's icy it's muddy this thing is really just not at home here but it has actually made it yeah we've had to winch it out a couple of times with the uh, Royal BM but I mean what can you expect with a truck like this Right, this has been a little bit of a horrible section here, I'm not going to lie. We're so close to the final watch point now, I can almost taste it. Okay, so now there is a massive log under the front tyres, and we are not moving, well, at all really, so... Okay, here is the pipe in front of us that we have to go under. Don't get stuck here, truck. Yeah, absolutely, well, there's a couple of winch points if we're lucky. We might actually discover all the watch points in this international. If I don't balls it up now by throwing it into automatic. Alright, we're about to go under the pipe, and the last wash point is just up here. Can we actually see it, in fact? I don't think we're close enough to it yet, but it is literally just up this road. Right, we're going round the corner, there is some ice, and there is the last watchtower. Thank God for that. I was hoping that this was going to be ice and not water, which it is. The truck does not stop at all on there. Why have we not uncloaked it? Where's the thing for it? There's usually a blue box. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we have unlocked it. Let's launch the observation. What can we see? We can see a pipe and our own truck. That's about it. But we have now finally uncloaked the last watchtower on the Pedro Bay map and we've done it all if we just discount a little bit of winching from the Royal BM we have done it all in our international Transtar right here so the final thing that I want to go and do is see if we can find the ANK MK right so I've managed to locate the truck um, you can actually just see it here it's this little uh, truck right here on the map uh, in case you're curious where it is it's right there on the map um, in case you're trying to find it yourself it is very very hidden in the trees so I think for this we're gonna go ahead and use the Royal BM uh, just because it's a little bit of a better off-roader and also this looks like a horrible bit of road 
This will also give us another excuse to drive the Royal BM. We've only sort of driven this in one video. The last time you saw this truck it had the sideboard bed on and I think it was black as well. Um, so because I put the fuel carry on here I wanted to sort of match it so I went for the red and white paint and um, obviously I've put the fuel carrier on there. But this thing is an absolute beast off-roader, you're going to see now. Compared to the International we have been running in, this thing handles the terrain a lot better. The first time we actually took this truck out was in the Russian map up in Tamir. And that is a horrible, horrible map. If you've ever played SnowRunner and you've played that map, then you will know how bad that map is. If you've never played SnowRunner then um, yeah if you do decide to start playing it avoid that map is my sort of advice because that is a horrible map and it actually made me feel a bit of hate towards this thing because it kept falling over because there's a lot of slopes on that um, on that map but it wasn't actually the truck's fault it was more the terrain because I've taken it here to Alaska and this thing feels right at home so um, I definitely think this is more of a snow exploration map this is going to be our fuel recovery truck from now on I think this thing doesn't cope well with mud which is one thing and this is some very thick mud here so I'm going to stick it in low range hmm. That was not a great shout. We should have actually hooked that tree line a bit more because now we have not really got anything to winch to. Okay, let's winch it over there. This thing actually seems to cope better in automatic than in low range. I don't know why. It just does. It just seems to favour that a bit more. I guess it has a bit more power in automatic and we're past the bog I'm gonna go back to this harder ground here yeah that was a good call there because that snow I think is not very fun okay we want to go down here we're gonna go across the water again that we crossed in the last episode it's quite cool that they have these like little sort of river crossing things it's quite a nice little feature okay we are so very nearly there now um, I've traveled quite a long way since you last saw me mainly because nothing interesting really happened all right we are approaching this like weird little like a foundry like an oil mill type place I don't really know um, hopefully there's some hard ground around here we actually want to just go straight through the middle of this place there's actually a massive semi trailer here like a fuel carrying semi trailer yeah I don't think we really need that <laughs> we've got plenty of fuel on the back of this thing um, I don't know if the truck that we're going to actually needs any fuel or not, but if it does, I mean, we've got plenty. And it's going to be exciting finding another new truck that we'll probably be going exploring in, in the next episode. Okay, I've learnt a little bit of a truck trick sorry that might help you guys out um, when you're playing snow runner a little bit so if you're going around the corner like this and um, this truck is notoriously bad for rolling over at least in my experience of it and it is actually very close to rolling here now we might not roll so far that um, the engine stalls here but rolling is just really not a good thing you want to avoid it as much as possible so a little trick that I've discovered is if you're going around a corner like this whichever side um, is basically the highest so on the, in this case it's my left 
you want to attach the winch in the middle of the truck there to the outside of the corner so somewhere like that tree there and then you want to just tighten it up as much as possible and basically now that is anchored to that tree so it can't roll any further than it is now so then what you want to do is just carry on round the corner and just pull the winch in as well and basically it will stop you from rolling over it anchors um, it anchors you to the tree so that you don't roll over kind of a little trick um, might not be all that useful but for those of you who are having some rolling issues it's just something that I thought I'd share and here we are actually this is the can mk 33 uh, sorry not the can what am i saying the nk mk ank mk 38 i'll get it right eventually um let's swap into the thing and see what needs doing actually nothing it's got no damage whatsoever and it's fully fueled up um, I don't know what upgrades we can get on the thing obviously earlier we did discover the lift kit for the thing although it does seem quite high at the moment so we'll see how much of a raise that gives us um, but yeah we've explored the entire Pedro Bay map now we've uncloaked all the watch points unfortunately there isn't actually a garage on this map which is um, a little bit of a shame because it's quite a big map and a garage would have been useful uh, but nevertheless we have discovered a brand new truck here uh, it's absolutely incredible so I think in the next episode we're gonna go exploring in this thing and we'll definitely customize this thing in the next episode so if you're interested in watching that then definitely subscribe to the channel and uh, also if you enjoyed this video then smash the like button and uh, don't forget to leave a comment as well let me know in the comment section uh, what you want to see me do in the next episode well that is going to do it for today's video i hope you have all enjoyed thank you all so much for watching and until next time a goodbye